cruise news. A cruise ship with 1,500 passengers is stuck in Spain as the cruise line attempts to resolve issues with authorities. I'm going to get you the details. Plus, there has been a large drug bust during a cruise embarkation. One cruise ship has rescued seven people, and 17 passengers were injured on another ship. I'm going to get you the top 10 cruise news updates from across the cruise industry, and I'm going to get you the information fast. Coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. We get you the cruise news and information you're looking for quickly without wasting your time. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. Let's go ahead and kick things off with number one. Two cruise passengers have been arrested for attempting to smuggle more than 60 pounds of cocaine onto a cruise ship. The arrest occurred as they attempted to board the vessel in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The cruise was set to do a transatlantic sailing to Barcelona, Spain. The name of the cruise ship has not yet been disclosed. The cocaine was hidden inside of false compartments in four suitcases. Authorities detected the drugs by using both x-ray scanning technology and trained drug dogs. Both individuals have been placed in jail and they are currently awaiting their appearance in court. Number two, the Norwegian Viva will be shutting down several areas of the ship for its upcoming voyage. On April 7th, the Norwegian Viva is supposed to be doing a transatlantic crossing. It will be going from San Juan, Puerto Rico and it will conclude in Lisbon, Portugal. However, Norwegian reached out to book guests and informed them that several areas would not be available and they would be undergoing enhancements during the sailing. The interesting thing is that the christening ceremony just took place in Miami five months ago. The areas that will be shut down on this upcoming cruise include the following. The Speedway Bar, which will be changed into a space for teens. The Galaxy Pavilion, which offers virtual reality games. The Teton Mini Golf Course. The Bullseye, which is a digital dart space. The Stadium, which is a gaming space. And the Wave, which is a popular water slide. Norwegian Cruise Line told passengers, quote, Rest assured there will still be plenty of activities available to entertain you during your days at sea. Not much additional information was provided by the cruise line. Moving on to number three, Carnival Cruise Line has increased their price for water for the third time in 17 months. This price increases for their 12 pack of 16.9 ounce bottles. Carnival increased the price from $4.95 to $9.95 back in November of 2022. They increased the price again to $11.95 just a little over three months ago. And now Carnival's website is showing an additional increase up to $14.95. So the price has effectively tripled in less than a year and a half. Next, number four, Norwegian Cruise Line is offering to reimburse expenses for eight passengers who were stranded in Africa. The eight cruisers were passengers on the Norwegian Dawn cruise ship. They missed the all aboard time while at port in the African island nation of Sao Tom and Principe on March 27th. The cruisers then journeyed across Africa attempting to reboard the cruise ship at one of its next ports of call. The entire situation received a lot of media coverage. And now Norwegian Cruise Line has issued a statement highlighting, one, that it is the guest responsibility to be back on the ship on time, two, that the cruise line has followed all of its outline procedures, and three, they said, quote, Despite the series of unfortunate events outside of our control, we will be reimbursing these eight guests for their travel costs from Banjur, Gambia to Dakar, Senegal. Then, number five, MSC Cruises has sailed a cruise ship into the Amazon for their first time. Visiting the Amazon River and jungle is a bucket list experience for many cruisers. And the MSC Poesia cruise ship has made that dream a reality for many MSC passengers. The ship entered the Amazon River as part of its world cruise itinerary over the past few weeks. For other bucket list cruise adventures, more cruise lines have also been offering African safari excursions when their ships call on ports on the continent. Okay, we have five cruise news pieces remaining, including the top headlines of the day, but quick question, chime in down below. Speaking of these bucket list adventures by a cruise ship, the Amazon River, and an African safari, my question for you today is simply this. Which of those two adventures would you personally prefer? Would you prefer A, the Amazon River, or B, the African safari? Chime in down below with your preference. I will look forward to reading that, but now on with the cruise news. Number six, the Celebrity Apex cruise ship rescued seven individuals who were in distress at sea. The Celebrity Apex was en route to Belize at the time. That is when they spotted four men and three women in a rowboat signaling for help. The cruise ship rescued the individuals. They reported that they had been lost at sea for five days. They were seeking to cross from Cuba into Mexico. So a good news story. Thankfully, all personnel are safe. 
Number 7. The River cruise ship fleet for the now bankrupt American Queen Voyages has been auctioned off. The top bidder was American Cruise Lines. American Cruise Lines purchased all four ships in the fleet for a little over $5.5 million. Moving on to number 8. Royal Caribbean's Brilliance of the Seas cruise ship has been repaired and is back on schedule. The Brilliance of the Seas experienced propulsion issues that caused it to end one cruise early. The cruise ship was also forced to cancel its March 30th sailing in order to undergo repairs. However, Royal Caribbean has now released a statement noting that the cruise ship has been fixed. It will be departing on its April 4th sailing from Sydney, Australia as planned. Next, number 9, 17 passengers were injured after a river cruise ship hit a concrete wall on the Danube River in Austria. The ship lost the ability to maneuver and slammed into the wall. The crew was able to press an emergency switch that restored necessary electronics. Once the ship docked, 11 passengers were taken to the hospital. Six others were treated for less serious injuries. The cruise ship has been checked and it has now been released to continue its voyage. Then, number 10, the MSC Armonia cruise ship has been held up in Barcelona, Spain with 1,500 passengers on board. As of the time of this recording, the MSC Armonia is still stuck in Barcelona. The issue is that 69 passengers from Bolivia are on board and they were supposed to debark the ship in Barcelona. However, they do not possess the proper documentation. The cruise ship had just arrived from Brazil. MSC Cruises said in a statement, quote, The passengers appeared to have proper documentation upon boarding in Brazil. We have been informed by the authorities that the visas are not valid for entry into the Schengen area. As a result, passengers have not been able to disembark in Barcelona, which was their final destination. Spain is now working with MSC and the Bolivian Embassy to get the situation resolved. Meanwhile, the cruise ship will remain in Barcelona with 1,500 other passengers on board. Okay, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video, it'll be coming out soon, but until then, keep on cruising and we'll catch you in the next video.